what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A 20-year-old woman with special needs got to live out her dreams to become a police officer. This happened in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Italy Serez's father says she wanted to be a police officer since she was five or six years old. And she finally got to do so. She was taken to the Santa Fe Police Department where she was able to spend the day and become an official cop. She got to learn about forensics. She learned fingerprinting. She tried on police gear and had a special day that she'll never forget. Now y'all know when I saw this headline about the police hiring a special needs person to be a cop, I could not help but think about all of the cops out there who qualify as a special needs person themselves. These people ain't got no business mocking themselves. You know they're going to get called on this one. Now, I'm not trying to make fun of the little girl. This is more so about the cops. They made a big show out of the special needs girl like they was doing something special, like this is something that happens occasionally, like they're doing this for the community. They're doing something nice and like, oh, look at how we're accepting this little girl and making her a cop for a day. Look at us. No. What you did is exposed yourselves. Now, there's a lot of officers out there who qualify for psych evaluations. They need help. America is in a crisis with its police force. There are so many cops out there who are coked up, doped up, mentally unstable. They are abusive to their family. They're beating their women. A lot of these women protect them. They won't even say anything about it. Some of these women are running around chanting Blue Lives Matter while getting the hell beat out of them behind closed doors. And, and I'm not trying to poke fun of the women that are in abusive relationships. But if you're in one of those type of relationships and you out here caping for the police, and you seeing what your husband, what your boyfriend, what your fiance is out here doing to people, and you ain't saying nothing about it, you need your ass beat. If not by the cop, by somebody. Because you're just as bad as he is. You're enabling him to do what he do. You're an enabler. And you don't get a pass. I ain't giving no passes out to nobody who enable a dirty cop. And women out here who are sleeping with these dirty cops and you know they're dirty and you're making excuses for them, you're laying up having babies with them, procreating with them, you're just as bad and your ass need to be called out. It's a general consensus that people in America want more training for mental health issues, more police training. But cops want it to be voluntarily. How that sound? I know I'm crazy. I know I'm off. Um, I'm not going to go in and put myself under evaluation because I know I'm off. Therefore, I'm in the safe zone. I mean, what crazy cop is going to volunteer to be put under a psych evaluation? It's highly unlikely that an officer candidate with severe psychotic mood, personality, or substance abuse disorder would get through a psych evaluation net. But smaller psychological fish such as erratic mood swings, narcissistic entitlement, uh, 
under the radar alcohol misuse or extreme prejudicial beliefs just might wiggle through. The cops need to be checked, all of them, man. And I mean, really, the answers need to be checked weekly. Any of them that get into any type of violent altercation, they especially need to be checked. These cops, many of them have personality disorder that is incompatible with being a police officer. Remember when they used to call them peace officers? I guess they got tired of lying about the name. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.